things that for us was very exciting about this project was the possibility of working on a building in a downtown and the fabric of a downtown uh, was such a fantastic site as this is. And, uh, and to not simply see the building as kind of inserting something new within the city, but actually teasing out and bringing out the, uh, the kind of history that's laying within the site. So the fact that it was a department store and prior to that was a theater, those two previous programs and previous lives were actually visible within the bones of this building. And so tra uh, transforming this into a contemporary arts center, uh, building upon the renovations that had occurred here uh, in the uh, latter part of the 1990s, um, was really trying to find a way that uh, all those different kind of uh, notions and qualities of their history would be visible within the project. And that also worked very well with the fact that the project had a, had a uh, constricted budget, so we need to be fairly tactical and, and um, uh, very, uh, very creative with, uh, with the way in which we um, work design. So it had to, any design operation or move had to simultaneously be pragmatic, solve a problem, um, and at the same time we would then wanted to use it as a way to kind of um, introduce uh, design qualities, uh, aesthetics, etc. Um, and glass blocks are a great example where we wanted to animate the facade but also allow light to come in and to change the image of the building. So 177 glass blocks get inserted into the existing facade that add to the layer of the history of the building, particularly on the inside where you see traces of the theater, traces of the department store, and now uh, the kind of traces, if you will, of the Contemporary Arts Center. Um, and that really changes the entire image of the building uh, in a very economical way. Um, and many aspects of the building are based on that, that kind of premise.